In Lab 2, Part 2, we will create a new networker policy with workflow and actions to run a backup and clone operation. In Step 3, we are now in the Protection window and we're going to right-click Clients and create a client resource for our client that we just installed. So we'll select the new client wizard. And our client name is winclient.emc.edu. And it's going to be a traditional backup. Select Next. On this screen, the specify the client information. We'll just keep the defaults here. Select Next. And here, this um, select the networker client properties. We'll keep the defaults here. Select file system objects. We are going to just back up one directory for uh, time's sake, and it's going to be the Windows fonts directory. Select fonts, click next, and again we'll show the configuration settings that we've picked, and we'll select create, and finish. So now that we have our client resource, let's create a group. Right-click on Groups, select New, and our group name is going to be Windows File System. And we'll pick our client that we just created, WinClient. Select OK. And you'll notice now that we have our Windows file system. And the reason why we have this little red circle here is that it has not yet been included in an action. So now we're going to create a policy, a new policy for our backup. So select New. And in the Create Policy window, the name for our policy is Standard File System. Select OK. And we want to create a workflow in that policy, so we'll create a new workflow. And we will call that Windows Test and Backup. And the group that we're going to use is the group we just created, Windows File System. In the Actions now, we need to add an action. And the first action we're going to add is going to be Check Connectivity. So for a name, we'll call it Check Connectivity. And the action type then will be a check connectivity action. Click Next. And we'll leave the default succeed only after all clients succeed. Select Next. And in this window, we're going to, this is the Specify the Advanced Options window on the failure impact here, if, if it fails, in other words, if the client is not connected or online, we want to abort our action. And we're going to send an, a notification on failure. And our command will be nicer log minus F C colon slash failure.log. Select Next. 
and then configure. Again, as with most of the wizards, you'll see a summary of what you've selected before we click configure. Now we're going to add a second option to this workflow. So all we've done so far is check the connectivity. So now we want to do a backup. And the traditional act, um, backup type will be action type of backup and the subtype of traditional. Select Next. And specify the backup options. We want to send it to our on-site AFTD with a retention of one week. And we'll select Next. On the Advanced Options screen, move it over so you can see the name of the screen, we will keep the defaults here. Select Next. And then Configure. Okay, we're back at the new workflow screen and you can see that our first action, check connectivity, and now our second action, backup, will run following the check connectivity action. And that you can tell that by this column, the previous column, so that it, the backup action follows the check connectivity. So we'll select OK. And we can also see this in the visual representation of this workflow. So here we have the check connectivity action. This will send our clients to a backup action. And the backup action will send the backup data to the on-site AFTD pool. So now we'll switch to the monitoring window. And we want to open the standard file system policy. And within here, you'll see our Windows test and backup. But we can start at the policy level, or we could start here. Both of them have uh, the start ability to start. We'll start at the policy level, and that will run all the workflows in that policy. In our case, we only have one. We'll select Yes. And if we expand that, you can see the information that's displayed for the Windows test and backup. This icon means that it's running. And here we have in the All Sessions, you can see our Save Session here. And I'm going to pause the recording while the backup is running. Okay, our backup has completed successfully by the red, uh, the green check mark. Excuse me. And now, if we right-click here and click on Show Details, you can see that our um, backup completed successfully. The check connectivity was successful, and then the backup action was successful as well. Now we're going to go back to the protection window. So click OK here. Select protection. And in the Actions field, we're going to add another item to Windows Test and Backup. So we'll select that and select Properties. And here we'll add. And now we're going to add a clone action. So we'll keep the name Clone. The action type is Clone. Click Next. For the destination pool, we're going to select the default clone destination or the on-site DD clone. And this is the one that we created with our data domain device, our DD boost device. So we'll select the on-site DD clone here. And the retention is one week. Select Next. And in this screen, the advanced options screen, we're going to keep all the defaults. Select Next and Configure. Then we'll select OK. And 
Let's look at our visual representation now. You can see here that we are we have our Windows file system group sending the clients to the backup action here. They are first stored in the on-site AFTD and then let's see if we can make this smaller. You can zoom in and zoom out. I'll zoom out. There you can see that the backup action is here, it's sending it to a pool called on-site AFTD. Then we have a clone action and that is sending our backup data to the on-site DD clone pool. Now we'll return to the monitoring window again. We're going to just run that one client. This is how you can just start an individual client, even though we only have one client in that group. But you can see how you could run just one client that's a member of that group. Click Start. And now we're going to run that backup action at, followed by the clone action. And I'm going to pause while this activity is going on. I clicked on the Actions tab rather than the Policies tab, and here you can see the actions that are part of this policy. And you can watch the status of each of the actions as they happen. So here's the check connectivity, which ran successfully and then the backup, and now you can tell that the clone operation is running and the progress that we have so far. And now the clone action has completed. And if we click on Show Details, you will get the details of that particular portion. So that's the details of the backup action. If we go back to Policies and the Workflow, you can get the details of the entire workflow, which shows all three workflow actions. Select OK. In Lab 2, Part 2, we created a new networker policy with workflow and actions to run a backup and clone operation.